Well, greetings uh, from Bill O'Leary uh, from Legacy Planning Law Group. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be answering the question of, of what, what is a private settlement agreement in elder law? So in this video, you're going to learn a couple of things. One, what is a private settlement agreement? And it's usually when dealing with a trust. It's also known as a non-judicial settlement agreement. I'll get into that. And then secondly, what these uh, settlement agreements are used for. So what they are and what they're used for. Quickly, before getting started, let me introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Bill O'Leary. I'm an estate planning and elder law and probate attorney. My firm is Legacy Planning Law Group here in Jacksonville, of Florida. So let's jump into the topic. So a, a, a private settlement agreement, also known as a non-judicial settlement agreement, it's basically a way to change a trust that is otherwise not changeable. So that, that's, what, that's what is known as an irrevocable trust. So look, an irrevocable trust can be created in one of two ways. It may have been created by somebody, they're still alive, and it was created uh, from its inception as an irrevocable trust. But the more likely way it was created is that uh, the person that established the trust established it as a revocable trust while they were alive. And then at their death, um, that uh, the trust continues on, let's say, for the benefit of a spouse or children, that continuing trust is an irrevocable uh, trust. So being irrevocable, that means that the trust and the terms of the trust are locked in. So then what happens if the beneficiaries of the trust, let's say, they don't want to be locked in or want to make some uh, changes. Uh, let's say they even want to end the trust. Can they do that? And the answer is yes, by entering into a non-judicial settlement agreement with certain requirements I'm going to get into. So what this kind of agreement does is, is it allows for the modification uh, of a trust without court involvement. That's why it's called a non-judicial settlement agreement, because it does not require the judicial system. The time and expense of litigation and court involvement is avoided. So look, look, creating a trust is a very effective way of distributing your property uh, uh, upon your death, but, and while also conveniently uh, avoiding the probate court. However, sometimes the trust does not work as it was originally intended, or let's say circumstances surrounding the trust or how the trust debts were intended to be distributed to the beneficiaries, maybe those circumstances have, have changed in ways that couldn't be anticipated. So handling these changing circumstances, that's what it is, sometimes can result in very expensive and drawn out court proceedings. So rather than involving those uh, court proceedings, a non-judicial settlement agreement can be a great solution. So what is it? It's basically, it's a private contract between the trustee and the beneficiaries of the trust, between the trustee and the beneficiaries of the trust. And, and the agreement, can be used, let's say, to modify the terms of the trust, uh, can provide a, a way for a very effective and cost uh, effective manner to resolve disputes uh, regarding the terms of the trust while avoiding the need for litigation. Now, all persons, here's, here, here's a uh, sort of a requirement, all persons whose interest in the trust would be affected by the agreement, they must be parties to the agreement. So that means a non-judicial settlement agreement cannot be uh, between just some of the beneficiaries. All of the beneficiaries need to be a part of that agreement. Um, so again, that's the only way for that agreement to be valid. One crucial requirement for a non-judicial settlement agreement is that it can't violate what's called a material purpose, a, a, a fundamental purpose of the trust that was set up to begin with. It can't violate sort of the spirit and, and fundamental purpose of the trust, or it can't violate any uh, law that might apply. So some things that a non-judicial settlement agreement can address are things like uh, maybe uh, interpreting the trust, maybe approving a trustee's uh, reporting or accounting of trust activity, maybe uh, as a way to tell the trustee to stop a particular action, or maybe a way to grant the trustee an additional power that's not otherwise set forth in the trust. Um, how about forcing the trustee to resign or maybe appointing a new trustee? Um, how, may, how about determining as a way to determine the trustee's compensation? And it, it can be used as a way to terminate the trust and make a final distribution. 
So, hey, if you'd like to know more about what a private settlement agreement in elder law is, what we call a non-judicial settlement agreement, and maybe you want to know how we can help you with that, we'd love to talk to you. We invite you to, to schedule a free 15-minute discovery phone call uh, with us. It's a chance for you to tell us what's on your mind, and that way we can tell you if we can we can help you. So scheduling the call is easy. Just go to the bottom of this video and click on the scheduling link, or you can go to our website, legacyplanninglawgroup.com and select the book your free call button. Both ways will take you straight to our booking calendar. Just pick the day and time that works for you and we'll get on the call at the time that you select. So this is Bill O'Leary signing off for now and go make it a great day and a better world.